color review today is Benjamin Moore Caliente. And as your room decor color expert, I'm going to tell you what you need to know about this color. And I'm going to give you some valuable tips that you should follow before deciding to paint this color in your home. So let's go. Caliente is a Spanish word for hot and this paint color delivers. I personally use this paint color for my clients that want an accent color for either the interior or the exterior of their home. It's such a fun color to use. So let's take a closer look at Caliente and let's talk about the color. Right here is Caliente by Benjamin Moore and I want you to take a quick look at this picture over here. I want you to get an up close view of what this paint color looks like. Now, to a lot of you, this probably looks like a red, right? Well, I want to show you something, so watch this. When I compare this with Salsa Dancing by Benjamin Moore, look what just happened. There's a little bit of an orange-red undertone. So, this is good to know for a lot of reasons, because anytime I'm working with complex undertones that I want to pair it with, such as countertops, tiles, and flooring, to name a few, this is really going to help me out down the road. So, to keep this simple, Caliente does not look like the red that you would find at a stop sign. It does not look like a red that you would see at a stop light. Instead, it's got just enough of an orange-red undertone that it's going to make it feel warm and inviting. Next, I'm going to show you a couple examples on how to pair Caliente with different fixed elements and why you need to get this right. By the way, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. I give you valuable knowledge like you're seeing right here in this video. All right, let's get back to it. For those of you that are new to this channel, I talk about fixed elements a lot. A fixed element is anything that you can't move with your hands. It could be a built-in cabinet, your kitchen countertop, or flooring to name a few. Anytime I'm working with my online clients, one of the areas that I pay close attention to are their fixed elements because it's so important to identify the undertones that they have before I start narrowing down the correct paint colors that will go beautifully in their room. So having said that, I want to show you a couple of examples when it comes to pairing Caliente with your fixed elements. So watch this. We have Caliente right here. Let's say that you have an oak gray wood flooring like this. When you compare it with Caliente, they go really well together. Let's say that you have a beige carpet flooring that looks like this. Well, when I compare this with Caliente, they clash. They don't go together. The reason why, this is a classic case. I'm mixing a clean color and a dirty color. The clean color is Caliente and the dirty color is this beige carpet flooring. But let's say for those of you out there that have a red cherry wood like this, when you compare it with Caliente, they go beautifully together. So this is the reason why it's so important to compare Caliente with the fixed elements that you may have in your room. Because the last thing I want you to do is to make a costly mistake that you will later regret. I want to show you a couple of colors that pair really well with Caliente to give you a better idea of how this paint color really works. For those of you that have an open concept home and you want to try something different and you want to make it feel open and refreshed, perhaps you might want to use Swiss Coffee by Benjamin Moore and you want to throw an accent color, you could use Caliente. It does a really good job of working with Swiss Coffee. But let's change this up a little bit. Let's say that you have a kitchen and you want to paint your kitchen cabinets. We could use Snowfall White by Benjamin Moore. And let's say that you have a bunch of accents in your kitchen, such as a red KitchenAid mixer, for example, and some other red accents, maybe like um, red roses, right? And you have a kitchen island. Well, you could paint your kitchen island Caliente. It would do a great job of complementing the red accents that you have in your kitchen and it works really well with Snowfall White. It would make your kitchen feel open yet exciting. Now, let's do one more example. Let's say you have a dining room, okay? It's a little bit earthy. We could use Clay Beige by Benjamin Moore, for example, and you wanna throw an accent color, well, you could use Caliente. It would do a really good job of complementing the red cherry wood dining table. So, 
This just gives you an idea of how to work with Caliente. There are so many different possibilities out there, but the bottom line is it's important to compare it with both your fixed and furnished items before deciding to paint your home in this color. How many of you out there love red paint colors? If so, type in yes. But if you're not a fan of red paint colors, let me know why in the comment section down below. By the way, if you need help on finding the perfect paint colors and you want it professionally done, then check out the link in the description section down below. I show you how I can help you regardless where you live in North America. Until then, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.